YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Tony T, and I got another video today for y'all, man. So today I'm going over the new compass in the um, AKA is dropping tomorrow at 10:30 a.m. Eastern time. So let's get into it, man. So um, for the compass player, we got Tony Saragusa. Um, I don't know why he's a 96 overall. He should have been a 97 at the least. I would have liked to see a 97, but. Um, yeah, 84 speed, 88 excel, 97 strength, um, 92 tackle, 94 play rec, 98 block shed, 98 power move, and 92 finesse move, man. Just, I, I, if I didn't have a Cowboys theme team and I didn't have good DTs, bro, I would definitely use him. But he, I'm just going to use him for training, man, you know. Um, as Good Fox says, this guy is thick, um, thick, strong. Block shit is crazy. I think he gets free inside stuff. Or it's either free or one AP. I don't remember. But this is going to be a really good card. And a, it's a big W for um, Ravens theme teams and uh, what's the Legends team team as well. So, uh, yeah. All right, let's get into Hollywood Brown. AKAs, man. Hollywood Brown. He gets 97 speed, 94 jump. 97 catch, 89 catch in traffic. That's terrible. 95 spec catch, 96 short, 95 medium, and 97 deep, bro. Oh, my gosh. Really, really good card, but his ability suck. All right, now we got Rhodes close. Man, Cowboys legend, Xavier Rhodes, bro. Let's go, bro. He's going to be the first 99 corner on my theme team, bro. It's going to feel so nice. It's going to feel so good to quick sell Trayvon Diggs. I'm not even going to sell him. Trayvon Diggs, you getting your ass quick so Seriously. But anyways, um, <laughs> before I get off into a tangent, um, Xavier Rose has 97 speed, 96 excel, 94 agility, 97 jump, 93 play rec, 94 man, 97 zone, and 95 press. Ooh-wee. Vikings, Cowboys, and Colts theme team just got blessed, bro. I don't know if he played for anyone else, but um, yeah. Now we got Tank Lawrence, man. Last but not least, bro. I don't, bro. I do not understand EA Sports. Why would y'all give us two LTD left ends, two days apart, bro? Like that does not make any sense at all, bro. Seriously. And then, bro, y'all hold my man Tank, bro. You, bro. How, how y'all going to give him terrible abilities, dog? Terrible abilities. Like, how does he not get free? He's a run stopper, but he doesn't get inside stuff discounted. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. But anyways, bro, 94 speed, 96 excel, um, 93 strength. That should have been higher. 93 tackle, 94 play rec, 97 block shed, 97 or 95 power move, and 97 finesse move, bro. Going to be a glitchy, glitchy card, bro. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell. Like, him and Tuta are pretty much the same card, bro. Um, but he should. I think Tank Lawrence will be cheaper because he doesn't have any crazy abilities for cheap. Or, well, like, the only reason why Ed Tuta is going for a crazy amount is because he gets extra elite for zero AP. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, if Tank had zero AP extra elite or something crazy like that, I think he'd be like really, really expensive. But um, I think he'll be eight hundred to nine hundred k tomorrow by tomorrow night. But we'll have to see. Um, yeah, I'm excited though, man. I I really I hope he gets like inside stuff for at least one. You know what I'm saying? Because if he gets it for two, I'm gonna be mad as hell. Um, he might still be DT1, though. I don't know. All right. So, anyways, let's go to the abilities. <laughs> Hollywood Brown, he gets max security and ankle breaker. And ability bucket one, he gets red zone threat, evasive, deep out elite, all for one AP. And ability bucket two, he gets route tech, um, wide, receiver, wide receiver apprentice, and then short out elite, all for zero AP. Um, and then he gets... Red zone threat, evasive, and deep out of lead in the third ability bucket. 
Um, honestly, I would go either Rod Tech and Deep Out Elite or Short Out Elite and um, Deep Out Elite for one AP. But um, yeah, they kind of hold his abilities too. But I think he'll be decent on the theme team. But anyways, man, let's go to Rhodes Close, bro. Um, he gets zero AP Zone Hawk, Universal Coverage one AP. I'm um, in Ability Bucket one. He gets Mid Zone KO, Short Routes KO, and then Flat Zone KO. Um, in Ability Bucket 2, he gets Pick Artist, Acrobat at, for 1 AP, Deep Out Zone KO for 1 AP. And then in his last Ability Bucket, he gets Mid Zone KO for 1, Short Out KO for 1, Flat Zone KO for 1, Acrobat for 1, and then Deep Out Zone KO for 1. So for 2 AP, he can get Flat Zone, Deep Out, and Pick Artist, bro. That's kind of crazy. That's like that, uh, what, that Mel, that Mel Pass the Blunt Ability Stack. Him and I think it's Bradbury, James Bradbury. Anyways, um, let's go to Tank Lawrence abilities, bro. So he gets Unstoppable Force for one AP, Run Stuffer for zero AP. All right, and Ability Bucket one he gets Double or Nothing, def- uh, for one Deflator for zero, Strip Specialist for zero. Like, come on, bro. I could have gave my nigga inside stuff, bro. Come on, EA Sports. Why do y'all hate the Cowboys? But anyways, Ability Bucket 2, man. We got Edge Threat Elite, Unpredictable, and Tackle Supreme. And then um, for the third Ability Bucket, he gets um, Double or Nothing, Edge Threat Elite, Unpredictable, and Tackle Supreme all for one. Um, If I were to get him, I'd probably just put Double or Nothing on him, honestly. Yeah, I would put Double or Nothing and maybe... Either I don't know if I would do deflator or strip specialist. I haven't tried deflator, so yeah. But we'll just see, man. Um, I'm planning on doing a pack opening tomorrow, a training reroll tomorrow, and AKAs. So uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that, man. But um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you are new, and let me know down below which AKA players you're looking forward to tomorrow. So, yeah, um, I'll holler at y'all in the next video, man. Peace.